Oki. Good morning, everyone. I acknowledge we're gathered on Blackfoot territory, and I recognize the Métis people who share a deep connection with this land. I'm very pleased to be here today to be such, part of such an important announcement. I'm joined by my colleague and our amazing candidate for Lethbridge East, Rob Miyashiro, as well as community advocate and athletic director, Toby Boulay. And of course, the leader of Alberta's NDP, Rachel Notley. In Alberta, we believe that no matter where you grow up, you should have every opportunity to grow and succeed. That's why our campaign for a better future for Alberta means investing in better health care, better education, and more jobs. It also means investing in better communities. This means thriving communities, more opportunities. And to do just that, I welcome Rachel Notley to make today's announcement. Well, thank you very much, Shannon, and thank you, Rob and, and Toby, for being here today. And might I say, last night's rally was really incredible, and I was so proud to uh, use that to, as an opportunity to commit to a new teaching clinic here in Lethbridge uh, for uh, physicians. That project will help the crisis and deliver better health care right here in this community. But today, this morning, we're here to talk about our plan for building stronger communities overall. And one of the best ways we can make that happen is to support the local gathering places that bring us together as friends and as neighbors. The community halls where we celebrate weddings and graduations, the senior centers where we host fundraisers and bingo nights, the recreation centers and sports complexes where we gather to watch our kids score the winning goal or nail that perfect dive, and the museums that preserve our history and the community centers overall that build uh, our social connections with each other. These are the places where we make memories throughout our lives. But after four years of UCP cuts, municipalities and nonprofits across Alberta have been forced to make some pretty tough decisions putting off or just passing up on these kinds of projects or facility improvements. Fewer amenities means fewer opportunities. More infrastructure issues means less time on the ice or in the pool or on the field. We shouldn't have to compromise on these important pillars of our communities in the wealthiest province in Canada. So instead of wasting money on these bad UCP plans that hurt hometowns, like for instance spending hundreds of millions of dollars to get rid of the RCMP, something most communities really don't support, we'll invest in making our communities better and stronger. And that's why I'm pleased to announce that if elected, an Alberta NDP government will launch a new program we're calling Hometown Alberta. Hometown is a capital grant program designed specifically to build and to improve our public sports, community, cultural, and recreational facilities. It will replace and improve upon the current Community Facility Enhancement Fund, or CFEP, as many in the nonprofit community know it as, which is oversubscribed year to year, by increasing that grant funding by 50% to a total of $75 million per year. But in addition, we're also going to establish a new $100 million capital investment fund annually that will allow the government of Alberta to finance and build more community infrastructure. And this will get projects going sooner and create jobs faster. Meanwhile, increased grants would support everything from an expansion to the local exhibition grounds to improvements at the Native uh, Friendship Centre. Better soccer fields, more soccer fields, new cricket pitches, nicer community halls, and yes, more hockey rinks. Rinks for kids, rinks for communities. Under Hometown Alberta, we'll see hundreds of new projects in every corner of the province. And this will create more than 1,500 new jobs in places big and small. Alberta's NDP will protect and improve the important places we find community and find each other. Under Hometown Alberta, we'll invest in a better future for kids and their families. Every one of us has a hometown, and we can always make it better make it stronger. So thank you very much and I'd like to involve, uh, invite Rob up to say just a few words. 
Uh, thank you, Rachel, and thank you for making this important announcement to, here in Lethbridge. As a former city councillor, I know how hard you have to work to get community projects built. It takes incredible partnership between the city, the province, and sometimes the federal government, as well as local partnerships with volunteer groups and fundraisers. Every year, city council sends a wish list, but in the last few years, it feels like nothing gets done in Lethbridge. That's despite having the infrastructure minister as here. So I agree with Rachel. Hometown Alberta is an important opportunity for giving more support to communities to fix and build local infrastructure. In Lethbridge, I can think of more than a few facilities that could use some of this money, including our senior centres. But we also have bigger projects on the horizon. Hometown Alberta could help the need with future planning for the Civic Commons downtown. And more importantly, which is why we're here today, it could help proceed with the twinning of the Logan Boulay Arena. This arena is next on the build list for the city and is proposed to be a... This is an important project for the city of Lethbridge and for all of us. It's a worthwhile project that will increase our ability to host major sports tournaments in southern Alberta, increasing economic activity in our city. Hometown Alberta recognizes that there's a hometown for all of us, and we can always make it better. Thank you, and I would invite my friend Toby Boulay to say a few words. Thank you, Rob, and thank you, Rachel and Shannon. It is so wonderful to hear Rachel make this announcement today and to know that this arena, the Logan Bull Arena, will have a long future in our city. Hometown Alberta sounds like a fantastic idea to build a better infrastructure right across our great province. As a former coach and teacher right here in the north side of Lethbridge, it is important, it is, I know it is important for our kids to be able to practice sports and grow those skills in our community. It's what helps them grow and succeed as people. Someone who volunteers a lot of time, and I volunteer a lot too. I've been to a lot of rinks, fields, baseball diamonds across this wonderful province. And if this program helps repair and spruce up these places, that's a great idea. And if it paves the way to twinning the Logan Bull Arena right here, that's another great idea. Our family is grateful for the commitment. It is part of Logan's life as it is, as is as is the continued rise in organ donation, which we marked on Green Shirt Day, and our shared love of sport in this great province, both of which only have room to grow in the many, many years to come. Thank you very much. Well, thank you so much, uh, Toby, for being here as part of this announcement, and thank you, everyone, for joining us today. And uh, I'm happy, uh, as, as are these folks, uh, to take any questions you might have. Start with uh, questions here in the rink, and then we'll go to Zoom and on the phone if there are any there. Uh, if you are on Zoom, please use the raise hand uh, on the phone, push star nine. Uh, and uh, for everyone here on location and on the phone, uh, please introduce yourself by name and outlet. Uh, we'll start here on location. If anyone wants to join me uh, by the microphone, I'm just going to pass it back here. Dave, can you help me out? <laughs> Hi, uh, David Opinko from Lethbridge News Now. Uh, I have a question for Toby. Um, can you just speak to the importance um, for anyone who would be using these facilities and for kids especially to make sure that there is uh, not only facilities, but that they are, you know, new or renovated, just high quality buildings to be able to play in? Well, first off, the City of Lethbridge does a fantastic job with its facilities right now, and it, but there's always room to grow and to improve our in Lethbridge. And right now, Logan Bull Arena, which was Adams before, is it's almost 70 years old. It needs, it needs some spit and polish, but it's a great place. As do many of our ballparks and soccer fields, rugby facilities. It all needs that. And to give young children the opportunity to, to grow and play in our sports field, to me, that's what I've dedicated my life to as a teacher, to do that all the time. It has to happen. It's, you can't, it's a nonpartisan issue. Helping kids play sports, do activities, why not? I think it's great. Uh, yeah, I have a question for uh, Rob. Um, I, could you just talk about what, what you know about, I guess, the proposal for, um, you said the, the, the twin rink uh, thing here at Logan Bully Arena? Yeah, so in the recreational facility master plan, um, the, the city, once we build out um, the 
well, what's it called, the Cavendish Farms Leisure Center with the twin rinks there. Um, the idea was to use the Civic Center arena as long as we could, um, which isn't that much longer, as, as a lot of you know, that have ever played there. Um, and when that time came, the plan was to twin this arena, um, so we would be still a plus one, not a minus one in, in arena ice time. Um, we, the other part to that is um, um, this has been in the planning for a long time, um, but obviously to, to pull that off um, takes, takes some dollars. One, one specific centre uh, arena is, is um, not in use anymore, and it paves the way for the Civic Commons master plan to be implemented in that block around City Hall. To your left. Yes, this is for Rachel. Should the NDP form the next government? I'm wondering how soon afterward would this program come into effect? Well, we would uh, uh, stand it up uh, as soon as we could. And, uh, you know, we, obviously we'd want to set out clear criteria uh, for how we would deliberate on the projects and obviously give proponents of projects across the communities time to, to put together their proposals. Um, but we would hope to be in a position to announce the, the first round of projects, uh, you know, before the end of the year. Speak <laughs> about the oh there we go the, the uh, uh, teaching teaching clinics you announced yesterday. Uh, Ten million dollars was pegged for the startup. Eighteen million dollars per year afterwards. Just where is that uh, funding? So part of uh, in essence, we, we announced uh, early last week uh, our decision to move ahead with family health teams um, across the province as part of our strategy to uh, to to get more people access to a family doctor up to a million people having access to a family doctor uh, more people uh, over the course of the next uh, few years but um, and and that plan included two components and one component was actually the creation of family health team clinics and so uh, we would look to making sure that one of those clinics was here in Lethbridge but we would design it in particular and then fund uh, put in the extra funding uh, to allow for the teaching component of it so it's basically taking that family health team clinic that it would make perfect sense to to put here in, in Lethbridge when we know there's so many folks in this city who don't have access to a family doctor. And then uh, just expanding its capacity a bit and putting the extra operational funds in to allow for um, uh, that, that teaching component of, uh, of, of um, uh, medical students. Uh, thank you. This is for uh, Rob. Uh, Rob, uh, did you want to provide any comment on the uh, tweet you shared that compared the uh, fires to uh, the UCP's uh, handling of the province? Um, there's no really any comment to make. If you look at the tweet, I mean, just look at the tweet. Any <laughs> question uh, here uh, on the phones? If you could put through, we understand we have uh, the Medicine Hat News uh, on the line. Please unmute yourself. Uh, and introduce yourself by name. Thank you. Hi. Um, this is Kendall from the Medicine Hat News. Okay. We can hear you. <laughs> Thank you, Medicine Hat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, sorry about that uh, technical difficulty. If we don't have any more uh, questions here on location, if uh, once again, if there's any, uh, sounds like we do have one more uh, on the line. Um, nope, sounds like we're not able to <laughs> get to that. Uh, so with that, uh, thanks very much, everyone. Thank you all very much. Thank you for being here.